Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over the basics of the Divi Circle Counter Module. So before we dive into this tutorial, I just wanted to say that I have a special affiliate link discount in the description below. It gives you 10% off your purchase if you don't already have Divi. I highly recommend picking it up, and you can get it through the discount link WPWithTom.com slash Divi. And I also just wanted to mention that I'll be posting videos covering all of the Divi modules here on my channel, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of those. So with that out of the way, let's dive into the Divi Circle Counter Module. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is actually set up this module in a three column wide row. So this is just a mock website here. And if I just click on here and I'll get a three wide row, what I'm going to do is create the first module with the actual circle counter right here and then I'll duplicate it and make it easier so there's only a couple edits to do once we have the first one looking how we desire it to look as the final result. So this is what I recommend anyone do when they're creating with multiple things that are going to be similar on their site such as blurbs or circle counter or bars. Just get the first one right and then try to copy it so you don't have to edit it and do it all over again. So right here it says your title goes here. That's what's going to appear right here. This is going to be the number. So in this case, I'm just going to make this a random number. I'm just going to put 87 in here. And you can see it goes up to be 87%. It gives that nice motion right there as we go through it. And here it says elements. And this one's going to show the percentage sign right here by default. So you can toggle that on or off. I'm going to just leave it on for this video. Next, we have a link. We can link out to a different URL or we can keep it within the same window here. You can add a background. It actually doesn't look that bad with a background, I think, depending on what color you use. But you can see if you go through this, you'd have to actually edit the other one as well. And I'm going to take off the background. I think it looks better without one, but it's not horrible with one if you do the right color combination. So I'm going to go over here to design here and let's get into some of the changes that we can make. So right here, if we click on where it says circle, we can go and change the circle color. So the rest of this site right here has this orange color as the actual color of the site. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose something around that orange color and I'll click on this and I'll drag it over and just put it right here for this example. It's not perfect. I could go and grab the color from here, but let's just go with what this looks like now. So down here you can choose a circle background color. It's going to give you a slight tint to whatever this color is right here. So let's just go and put red right here. You can see it changes a little bit. And then if you change the opacity to it, it would get darker and change the color. Maybe I'll use something like blue so you can see the difference. So if we change the opacity, you can see that blue section there. I'm going to go and put the opacity at 0.2. And I'm just going to make this a little bit darker. That way you can see it right here. You can see this dark part that's not filled in. And it shows that it's 87%. When this loads up, you'll see that action. And you'll see it go to 87% of the circle. It looks pretty good when you do that. So from here, we can go down and change some other things. So if we go down to where it says title text right here, we can change the title text and that's going to be down here. I'm actually going to go and just make the font bolder. Let's go with ultra bold right here, see what it looks like. And I think it looks pretty decent. I'll make the title text a little bit bigger. And this is totally up to you. You can change this as needed. You don't even have to have the title text if you don't want. And you can add box shadows, all kinds of things for the title text shadow actually right here. And here we have the number text. So let's go right here. And for the number text, I'm just going to go and change the bold on here as well. And I'll just make it semi bold so you can see it pop a little bit more. If you wanted to, you can make an italic. You can do all kinds of things. You can align it to different parts of the circle. I'm just going to leave it as center. I think it looks the best and the cleanest in this example here. Here you can change the color. So if you want it to stand out a little bit, you can change the number color here something you might want to do depending on your site and the colors of your site. I'm going to go with black here it's just so you can see a little more visible rather than the gray that it had. If you wanted to revert back to the gray you would just click right here and it takes you back to that gray color. I'm going to just make it black so it stands out a little bit here. So if we scroll down a little bit more we have a section called sizing and here in sizing you can actually adjust the size of this circle itself. So I'm just going to go through the process of showing you how to do that. So where it says max width right here, it says 225 pixels. So if I wanted to make it larger, I could literally go like this and make it way bigger. 
and it takes up this whole area or I can make it smaller. Let's go down to like around 100 pixels and you can see how small you can make it as well. So depending on the size that you want, you might need to adjust the text of the percentage size and this text here. I'm going to go and I'm just going to make it close to where it was. It was 225 before. Let's just go. I'll just go right back to where it was 225. So, but that is how you can adjust that. Again, you can adjust where you want it aligned. And this will align the whole thing with the text and it will keep the center alignment here but it will align the actual module itself within the actual row to the left or right of that section that it's in within a row. So I'm going to make it centered here. And from here, I'm actually going to go right down to the bottom and I'll go to animation. So we already have the animation of when it fills up the 87% here, but you also can make it fade in or slide in like that when the actual site loads. I'm going to put it on slide in and I'm going to leave all these settings the same with center like this and I'll just go and click save changes and right here I'll go over and what I'll do is I'll go into this section right here and I'll just click duplicate module and then what I'll do is I'll actually drag it and drop it right over here so you click hold drag and drop and then you can do the same thing right here duplicate module and then again go down here click hold drag and drop it over here to move that over. So now you have three different number counters and you can change what the counter is saying. Maybe it says support, maybe it says design, and the other one says SEO or something like that. You can change the titles and then change the number. So if we went right in here, you can just change the number and make this number say 97%. And I'll just go and I'll save it. And then I'll go over to this one and let's just say I'm gonna change this number. I'll make it something low, like 27%. So you can see it goes down. So if I were to save it, and then I go down here, I'll click this and actually save the whole thing. So from here, let's go and actually grab this and we'll just preview it in an actual live tab since we just saved it. And if I just paste it in here, let's go and see what it looks like when it actually loads up. So I'm gonna scroll down and it's near the bottom and we can see when we get down here that there it is, it fades in and it counts the numbers. It's pretty quick and you may wanna adjust that fade to take a little longer to fade in but I think it looks pretty good overall. So that about wraps up the basics of how to use the Divi Circle Counter here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more WordPress-related tutorials. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.